Hey, everybody. Michelle Myers from Pink Collars here. I just wanted to swing by and introduce myself. I will do a full introduction in the presentation here in a second, but just wanted to do a quick thank you to Amar and the entire ZenMade team. This is a huge, huge effort to get this entire thing together. And I just want to say personally and professionally, I'm really happy and grateful for uh, all the hard work that's gone on behind the scenes to get us all here today. So I'm going to go ahead and change to a different desktop here and share my screen. And then we are going to get started talking about how to supercharge your CSR. It's going to be super cool. So let's get going. Again, thank you for everyone joining me today. I love this event. It's a lot of fun. So um, we are going to go through some slides pretty quickly today. Like I said, my name is Michelle Myers. I am the co-owner of a company called Pink Collars, and I am a wife, happily, and a parent, and a business owner, probably an awful lot like all of you, and I'm a leader of a team, right? So what, right? What does that make any difference? We're all a lot of these things in the audience, but... I'm wearing a lot of hats, just like you. And when I started my business, I answered all my own phones. I was even my own first employee and I didn't get fired. <laughs> so I get it. And I'm here to help. Believe me, um, in 10 years in the customer service space, I've actually tried it all. And uh, I've done lots of 14-day free trials. And I've tried lots of things to improve my business and empower my team. And I've really distilled it all down to three simple components. And they are these three, tools, tech, and training. If you get these three areas of customer service dialed in for your team, you're really gonna empower them to be better than they ever thought possible. So what we're gonna talk about today is supercharging your CSR, right? Here at Pink Collars, we call our CSRs customer service rock stars. You may call them customer service reps or account reps or even office managers. Whoever it is that you have representing your business every day, they are a critical person in your company. In fact, the stats support it. They say that 58% of American consumers will switch companies because of poor customer service. So we really wanna get this right. Let's go over tools first, okay? So the first tool, and you may not feel like it's a tool at all, but it actually is, and it's one we can't live without, and it's dedicated office space. Okay, I can hear everybody in the audience, the virtual audience out there going, what are you talking about, Michelle, dedicated office space? We work from my house, or we work from a storage facility, or gosh, we work from a storefront office space. We need to be together. I get it. I totally get it. But I don't know about you, but in the first few weeks of COVID, before cleaning companies were deemed essential, I was actually afraid for nearly all of my clients and how they would manage any of this remotely. Most office staff did go home. In fact, the whole country actually went home. And we all realized the necessity of having a dedicated, quiet office space. Having a focused space is incredibly important for your customer service team member, no matter where they're located. And we're going to touch on remote options a little bit later in the presentation. If they're working in a high energy or fast paced, pardon me, <laughs> environment where techs or cleaners are coming in and out of the office, please be sure to give them a little space, just a little bit by themselves. Make a space for them that's actually dedicated and protected. A busy office environment can actually negatively transmit to the homeowners that are calling into your office or into your cleaning company. Customers can actually tell when your CSR is stressed, when there's background noise or chaos or pandemonium. So please do your best to get a dedicated office space for your CSR in your business. This is a super important role in your company, like I said, and we need to make sure to support them in that way. Second tool that we absolutely cannot live without is multiple screens. I can't tell you how important this one is. If you work in a cleaning company or really any home service business and you have multiple lanes of communication coming at you, you likely have phones, right? Email, Facebook Messenger, probably have live chat on the website. Fun fact while we're here at live chat, millennials have been 
spoken with, and they actually prefer live chat for customer service over every other communication channel. It's crazy, isn't it? I would not have thought that. So if you're looking to capture the younger consumer, live chat is their jam. So make sure you've got it on your website. Okay, so back to screens. In this busy role, your CSR can actually get overwhelmed and really it happens quickly. There are a lot of different pathways for your customer to reach you. And it's important to segment these into different screens or display panels that your CSR can manage throughout the day. We here at Pink Collars believe in having at least two screens in addition to your laptop or desktop to easily park these lanes of communication separately. The number of additional screens that your business needs will be dedicated or dictated, pardon me, by the number of additional channels, right, of communication that your customers are contacting you on. We talked about them before, right? Phones, email, Facebook. Having additional screens gives your CSR the ability to place those different pieces of information on different screens and attend to them cohesively throughout the day. So when they're visually in front of them, nothing gets lost. And really that's the key, right? Any desktop or laptop can be outfitted. In fact, you might wanna start thinking about your CSR as a pilot for your company. You want the best tools in the hands of your pilot so everyone stays safe, right? The CSR is really guiding the communication for your business. So give them those tools that make the flight a little less turbulent. The third and final tool we absolutely cannot live without is actually hands-free environment. And it's pretty simple. It's actually just a headset. This seems kind of silly, right? Some of you may think of putting a, com a customer on speakerphone or maybe even talking with them through your computer. A lot of cleaning business companies utilize voice over IP phones. Some actually still may be working on a cell phone. I know there's a few of you out there. It's actually critical to have hands-free and having a handset or headset, pardon me, making sure that all those calls are being attended to and the focus is on entering all of the data accurately into your CRM, this is the key. If you're touching your phone, holding your phone, putting it up or down, or even talking on speakerphone throughout the day, this just creates distraction. And you don't get the speed or the efficiency that you really need from your CSR. Remember, you have these folks fly in the plane. They need all the attention on the details of the call they're taking. Fun fact, I have spent lots of hours doing loads of research on the best headset, and I actually still get a little bit of resistance from my team. So I know it'll take a little bit, but be sure that they have those headsets on. Okay, so tools. Let's go over them one more time. We had a dedicated office space or consider working from a remote location. Like I said, we'll cover some of those options later on. We have additional screens and we have hands-free or a headset. These are really key tools to help your CSR experience the awesomeness of taking care of your customers. And remember that 58% statistic, we really want the right tools for the right team member in your company. Okay, let's go to section two. So let's talk tech. I uh, am super dorky and so I love technology and this is one of my favorite sections. So tech, we really have to start, right, with your CRM, and that's really the biggest part of your tech stack, and it's really the foundation on which your CSR stands, sits, or as it were, flies this plane every day, right? Your cleaning business CSR, or customer service rep, has to have a comprehensive understanding of the CRM that you've chosen for your company. So getting them supported with this technology, really important, just like the team you choose to work with every day. Your CRM should reflect what you expect from your business and from the team that works within it. As you pair your CSR with technology, it's important to think of both the CSR and the CRM, I know lots of acronyms here, as partners, right, in this daily effort of moving your cleaning business forward. Luckily, the team at ZenMade have done an incredible job giving us really up-to-date training. You can find all of this tech support on their website. So your CSR needs to use your CRM to be more nimble, right? As they travel through the day of their daily communication, 
CRM should be a seamless part of their job so that not only can they be empathetic, right, while they're talking to your customers every day, but they can be able to put all of the notes, action steps, and information into your CRM. As everyone here knows, ZenMade makes that part of the job really easy. But if you're here getting more information, you're not a ZenMade client yet, and you're shopping for a CRM, there are quite a few out there that have similar features. So find one that works best for your company. By no means get trapped on one that isn't serving your business. And here's the fun thing about CRMs. You have now the ability to take your data out and place it into a new CRM so you can hit the ground running. You likely won't have your past invoicing, but you will have all the past data as it pertains to customer accounts, customer information, name, address, email, and you'll have your entire database be intact so that if there's a move in your future or a change, please know that all CRMs have the ability to migrate over that customer data. So please don't be freaked out if that's where you are and you're still looking. The next piece of tech I really wanna cover is one called a dashboard. And there are lots of options, but it's a place where your business tasks can be managed, right? Typically outside of your CRM. Think of this piece of tech as, I don't know, a digital whiteboard, right? You likely have a whiteboard somewhere in your business life somewhere in your office or home. I know I can't live without mine. A few attendees in the audience are probably even using a platform called ClickUp. There's also an awesome platform out there called Monday, but I'm actually a big one of this one that's free because I love free and it's called Trello. It's one that we use here at Pink Collars and it's a system that I tell people to use all the time every day. Whether you have a remote team or not, having a dashboard for your business is very impactful for your CSR. So imagine your CSR sitting at your desk or flying the plane as it were, and they have call scripts, right? They have a customer journey information. They have your pricing information. They may even have your team information. Imagine all those things being in a paper format right now. You could also imagine that there could be a whiteboard with you know, lists of information. It's not super efficient, and it's not the way a lot of our more tech savvy employees are working right now. In a paperless world, a CSR really needs to have all of that documentation at the ready. And they really don't have the time when they're on the phone with a customer or homeowner to take a look at everything within a file structure or a Word document or a Google sheet. So giving them that ability to see things visually in a platform like Trello is incredibly powerful. So let's go over Trello really quick. Again, free tool, and I'm a big fan. So imagine all the documents of your business being digitally housed somewhere with a visual component to them so that they're easy to reference, right? Imagine being able to, I don't know, hold up your finger and point at the screen and say, I need to know exactly what services we provide, right? for a move out clean, or what are the top things that we do here at our company, or what is the list of cleaning products that we use? Sure, I mean, after a while, these pieces of information do become memorized by your CSR, but imagine having them all in a visual format, easy to collaborate on and easily accessible from anywhere. Here's what a typical Trello board looks like in our business. You can see how the lists of information are really beautiful to look at and easy to access again while you're busy and while you're on the phones. Why is any of this important, right? Well, it's important because CSRs actually leave. I know this is a shock to everyone, but this role does change in your business. And oftentimes that CSR will either move into a different role, management or operations within your company, or they may even move on to work in another business altogether. And so having all of that wisdom and more importantly, all of that knowledge documented somewhere is incredibly important for your business. We like to call Trello the living document or collaborative dashboard of your business so that we have the ability to go back and look at all of that wisdom that's been shared, especially as you look to scale your company or as people move on or don't work with you any longer. Either way, it's really helpful. 
So I'll go through some of the key features. I don't want to get too in the weeds, but just let you know that I'm a big fan of Trello. Trello does have a really cool thing called lists, which I am a big fan of. You can see that each column has cards. Inside the cards, you can see different, more pertinent information that's documented. This particular company, you can see they have a cancellation, you know, their cancellation information right here. So that process is all documented and that policy is right there in, in front of everyone. So everyone knows how to handle it. The cards are really great. You can actually even embed videos in them. Here's a really cool video. And it's fun because you can play them right from Trello. So last but not least is communication. And technology and communication are really fast friends, right? Even more now than ever, technology is moving quickly in the communication space. So while we're here on communication, hats off to ZenMade for creating a CRM that has both internal and external communication. As users know, you can send SMSs to your clients or to your techs or cleaners in the field. And that is a really high benefit of the CRM. If you're not utilizing this function in ZenMade, be sure to check it out because it's really, really helpful. I've got a little communication stat for you here. Over the next seven years, yes, you heard it, seven, projections are that within the next seven years, customers will no longer call a business. Let's sit with that one for a second, right? No longer call. In other words, the phone will stop ringing. It's every business owner's worst nightmare, right? But it's actually going to happen. How are customers reaching your business? How will they be able to get to you if the general way of connecting with you really isn't used any longer? Will they send an SMS or a text to your, to your business? We talked about digitizing your phone system um, here at Pink Collars, it's something that we do for all of our clients. We really want them to move into the digital age faster, rather sooner rather than later. But SMSing a business will become the norm. Customers will also send an email to a business, contact forms, but they'll no longer pick up the phone and call a business. So it's very important for you to know now how to communicate with your clients and with your team as that communication becomes more digitized. Now is so important for the future of your company. So you likely have several ways for your customers to reach you, right? We talked about them before, email, contact form, Facebook Messenger, live chat. Those are great. Those are all external ways that the customer can reach you. What larger and more pressing pain point that we actually see though here at Pink Collars is internal communication. I have spoken with so many cleaning companies that are still using group texting on cell phones. And I'll know, although that's better than calling into the office, which also still happens, I won't tell who, <laughs> CSRs can actually get trapped doing the day-to-day -day back and forth internal communication to teams in the field. And I know it's necessary but with group texting, it can be so challenging and so time consuming. We know that customers call in, right? We know that jobs get canceled. And as teams are out on their way, lockouts happen, things change. So being able to communicate with the team in the field is incredibly important. It's necessary. But there are super cool tools out there for internal communication. Let's look at a couple. Here at Pink Collars, for all of our internal communication, we use a tool called Slack. You may have heard about it. All of these platforms that I'm about to go over are all two-way texting derivatives, right? So they function similarly to one another. They're able to separate groups, people, teams, and conversations. There's also Google Chat. You may actually be using this. It's formerly Google Hangouts, so you may recognize it. Even Facebook's new Facebook workplace is getting into the communication game. I don't know about you. I'm not sure I want my team on Facebook all day for work and for play, but maybe I'm just not thinking about how it works well. So there's a lot of different products out there. And I recommend you get one in place in your business sooner rather than later. Here's some of the options, like I mentioned. 
we use and love Slack. We use it for internal communication. If you have a small team or a large team and you need to communicate quickly, it's super beneficial. And as the business owner, you can actually see what's happening. Your team can be participating in video calls. They can send both photographs and documents through Slack. It's really cool. If you're just starting out, it may be tempting to just use Google Chat and Google's free. Um, and I like that. Remember, I like free. But you're likely running Google to store documentation. You may even have a Google voice number, but technology is changing so quickly and so is your business. I would recommend you look into Slack and it may seem big now or overwhelming, but I promise you, your company will grow into it. You will be using the features as your team grows and you'll see the benefit. We've actually seen it help dozens of cleaning companies that we've helped tackle communication in their business. And really, it's a great new element to bring to their team's communication. So please check it out. Remember, at the end of the presentation, I'll be sharing all these links and all this information easily. So we covered tech as it relates to your CRM and your documentation access, and we tackled communication. So let's hit training next. Okay, so here we are at our third and final section of this presentation, and it's training. So what we want to do is go over CSR training in particular. As you all know, there's lots of cleaner training out there or even technician training or field team training. There's a ton out there for your home service or cleaning business. We clearly have Angela Brown joining us this week. And so be sure to check out her session. She always gives a ton of value. Um, and she runs a business, a very dynamic business that does a ton of training in the cleaning industry called Savvy Cleaner. So be sure to check her out. And then who could forget or overlook the queen? Debbie Sardone, of course. She's also one not to miss. And she's been doing speed cleaning for many years. Um, training people and giving value to this industry. So be sure to check out her session as well. But in terms of CSR training, there was a lot less training out there. It was actually interesting. I sought out CSR training for our company and it was very difficult to find something that I felt fit the profile of the CSR work that we do and really give people the good tools and do role playing that they could utilize while they were on the phones, right? The one that we focused on and that I'm super excited to share, and again, I will share the link to this in my one sheet that I give away at the end of the presentation, is from a group called Go Time Success Group. Now, here's an interesting thing. Go Time Success Focus Industry is actually HVAC. So they're not in the cleaning space, but I'm a huge believer in checking out other industries and seeing what they're doing, right? You can find similar pain points in other industries that may have already been solved over there. And home service industries are super closely connected and you'd actually be doing yourself a disservice not to check out the tools that are out there. So the one that we landed on again from GoTime is one called Seven Star CSR, which I love the name of. And it's by an incredible woman named Angie Snow. You guys don't know Angie yet, but I'm going to link you up with her. And I think you're going to be really happy that we did. Um, she and her husband own a heating and air conditioning business in Utah. She's a coach and a mentor, again, in the HVAC space. She's also a business owner and a parent, just like all of us. And she saw a gap in the marketplace and filled it. I can tell you that I know her training is a really interesting crossover because customer service, like I said, no matter what the industry, the pain points are same across the board. So we found that working with Angie and her team was really beneficial for our group here at Pink Collars. Angie's training is broken up into a recorded or a live event. So I'll go over both of them here. Um, you can do the two days, which is fully live. She offers that two or three times a year. Again, I'll give you the website link so that you understand how to get a hold of her and find out when those programs are being offered. You can also buy the pre recorded event, which is something that we also did. And so every team member here at Pink Collars goes through the seven star training modules, uh, the CSR training modules 
Having access to this training makes it so possible for our team to revisit sections that they may be struggling with or maybe they may need review on. And I am actually happy to report that we created the seven star additional trainings into our career ladder here, which encourages our staff to keep learning. Um, the program makes it really easy to manage. Uh, some of the highlights that I'll go over here just quickly is that she talks about complaints. I don't know about you, but every business gets complaints. And so how to handle them and being positive by choosing the right words, right? She teaches everybody what not to say, which I think is really important. So a couple of those things that she talks about are never say no problem, right? It's a negative word. And never um, in, in a statement, it's actually beneficial while you're on the phone to say things like you're welcome or my pleasure so much better instead of saying don't worry about it. Right. Negative. Uh, say things like we've got this using affirmative words and statements on the phone instead of saying think something like, hey, we have to cancel, which I know in the cleaning industry has to happen once in a while. You may be short staffed or you may have to cancel a certain visit. You say, hey, we've had a change in our schedule. So again, trying to be positive when communicating with the customer. We don't think call thing, we don't call things like bids. We instead, instead call them estimates or pricing options. We really want to paint a picture of a positive experience with our company that, that we're talking to the customer about. Even in terms of talking about a person's account, she even dials it down even to that. We wouldn't say ever something like account, but we would actually say the history of or the, your file or your records, right? She really dives in deep about the language and how important it is. So Angie's taught our group and given them an entire set of tools and tips on how to navigate the customer experience for the clients that we support. And I'm really grateful that she's actually focused on CSR training specifically. I would love to have you guys check it out. So those are just some cool examples um, about what she's doing and how her content is. While I'm here, I also want to give you some kind of interesting stats about employees in general, right? How these stats have impacted the cleaning industry. Uh, Pre-pandemic, right? Last year in 2020, the stats were that about 17% of U.S. employees were working from home. Not a lot, pretty small percentage. They're saying by the end of 2021 that we will be between 40 and 44% of people working from home. So most businesses are looking at this as a feasible long-term option, right? If you have a CSR in your busy cleaning office and people are coming in and out all day, picking up supplies, checking routes, completing work, Please think about how difficult that might be for your CSR, how disruptive or distracting it might be, and consider having them work from home. We have really found the three things that we went over today, right? The tools, tech, and training. It really is an option for your cleaning business, for your CSR to work from home. In fact, it's beneficial for both of you. It cuts down on chaos office noise, back and forth, phones ringing, and the constant high energy of customer care. We actually find that it's a better experience for our customers and for our employees when they work remotely. So actually consider it as you move through 2021 and into 2022, think about working remotely as a viable option. Uh, while I'm here talking about working remotely, I want to talk about some of the great VA services that are out there that are on the speaker lineup. So be sure to check out these folks too. I know Maria is going to be speaking and she's with Taskaway VA. There's Chris Schwab from Innova Local. I mean, talk about the great benefit of being here. You get so many cool opinions and voices and these people are industry insiders, especially in the cleaning industry. They both own their own businesses too. And they're ready to take the CSR role if you're ready to outsource it, right? So thank you all so much for joining me today and learning how to supercharge your CSR with all the tools, tech, and training that they need. And thank you again, Amar and the entire Zenmay team for making this awesome virtual ha event happen yet again this year. 
I know that you were leading the way many years ago when you said virtual summit and we all sort of marched along and now here you are leading the, leading the charge again. So I've compiled a quick reference list. I'm gonna call it a one sheet uh, with all the items that we covered today, something super easy for you to begin outfitting your CSR as soon as you can. Whether your CSR is in house, in the office or remotely located, they have to be a continuous person in your business and in your team. And here's the other thing. If you're still performing this role in customer service for your own business, have hope. The systems that I'm going to share with you today, you really can gear up to replace yourself very soon. Okay, so check out the screen and get the list. So all you have to do is scan this QR code from your cell phone, take a peek, scan it now. I'll leave it up on the screen for a few seconds. Uh, fill out the short form on our website. I promise not to spam you to death and it will automatically send you that one sheet right over. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation. You may be wondering, hey, Michelle, why all the slides? What was that all about? It was over 150 exactly, uh, to be exact. Um, but I wanted to present my information today in a similar way that your CSR is informed daily, right? Lots of little pieces all coming at you rapid fire. Think about it. This is exactly how your CSR manages their workload for your business every day. Imagine how much more supported they're going to feel now that you have a better understanding of their role and what they need to be even more successful. And for you, be proud that you took the time this week to invest in learning about your business from this awesome list of contributors. So be sure to grab the one sheet, scan it. Um, I will also post it in the group and wherever else I can so that people can get this information. And thank you again so much for joining me Everybody have a terrific summit and a great day.